Lesson 5.1c, Dividing with a Remainder. A remainder is the amount left over when a number can't be divided equally. 101 divided by 50 is equal to 2 with 1 left over. There's two 50s in 101 with 1 left over. And remember, the divisor is outside the division house in long division. So if we say that this symbol is the division house, the divisor's on the outside. And we have the quotient up on the roof, don't we? And we've learned that we can check division by multiplying the divisor and the quotient. And it should equal the dividend. But when we have a remainder, we multiply the divisor times the quotient, and we add the remainder. So we have 50 times 2 is 100, plus that one remainder is 101. It matches the dividend, so yes, we did it correctly. So if you're checking your math, you're checking your long division, remember to add that remainder, okay? A bakery made 4,220 chocolate cookies. If they package them 12 cookies per box, how many boxes will they fill? So we think we need to split up 4,220 into equal groups containing 12 to find the number of groups, to find the number of boxes. So we have 4,220 divided by 12. And we ask ourselves, can 12 fit into this 4? No. So the answer does not go above the 4. Can 12 fit into 42? Yes. How many times? 3 times, because 12 times 3 is 36. We do the multiplication, we subtract, and we get a 6. Now it's this 2's turn to come down. We have 62. How many times can 12 fit into 62? Well, 12 times 5 is 60. We write a 5 above the 2 that we drop down. We do 12 times 5 is 60 and subtract that. We get a 2. Now it's this zero's turn to come down. We ask ourselves how many times 12 fits into 20. Only one time. So we put a 1 above that zero we drop down. And 12 times 1 is 12. We subtract that and we get an 8. That means they can fill 351 boxes with 8 cookies left over. And if they had 4 more cookies, they could fill one more box. As we learned in 5th grade math video 2.7, we can write the remainder as a fraction by using the left over as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. So we would have 351 and 8 twelfths. We can simplify the fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by their GCF, their greatest common factor. We can use 4. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. It simplifies to 351 and 2 thirds. Here we have a multi-step problem. It says a library has 9,586 books in their junior fiction section. And they have 3,593 books in their junior nonfiction section. If 46 books fit on a shelf, how many shelves do they need for their junior books? So that means the fiction and nonfiction. Remember, fiction means imagined or made up. Fiction means fake. So first, we need to total the books and then split them into groups containing 46. We need to total the two amounts, fiction and nonfiction. We add them and get 13,179. And if 46 books fit on a shelf, we're going to divide it by 46. So 46 can't fit into 1, it can't fit into 13, but it can fit into 131 two times. Do a little multiplication on the side. We see 3 times would be too much. That would be 138. But if we do it times 2, that would be 92. So we put a 2 above the 1 because we're doing 131. And 46 times 2 is 92. We subtract and get 39. Now it's the 7's turn to come down. How many times can 46 fit into 397? We can do a little math on the side. If 2 are 92, 
Well, then let's try six, because that would be close to 300, or maybe even seven, because that would be close to 350. So let's try 46 times seven. Seven times six is 42. Seven times four is 28, and four more. We have 28 and four, which is 32. I think we could get another 46 in there, because we have 397. Let's try 46 times eight. 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 4 is 32, and 4 more is 36, 368. I don't think we can get another 46 in there. We can try 46 times 9. That's 54, that's 36, and 5 is 41. Ooh, 414, that is too much. So we're going to have to go with the 8 as the next part of the quotient. And now we know that 46 times 8 is 368. We're going to subtract that. We can't have 7 and take 8 away, so this is going to become an 8. That's going to become a 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 8 minus 6 is 2. And we have nothing there. And now it's the 9's turn to come down. How many times can 46 fit into 299? Now, we've got some math that we did on the side. We can see 7 would be too much. That's 322. And we haven't done 6 yet. Let's try 46 times 6. Let's see what that is. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 4 is 24, 25, 26, 27. Ah, that looks like a good number. It's less than 299. It doesn't go over it like 46 times 7 does. So we're going to put a 6 up here above the 9 on our quotient because that's the number we dropped down. And now we know that 46 times 6 is 276. I'm going to subtract that amount. 9 take away 6 is 3. 9 take away 7 is 2. That means our remainder is 23. And remember, we can write this as a fraction. We can make this 23 the numerator. We can make that 46 the denominator. And you know what? 23 is half of 46. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 23 as their greatest common factor. That means we have 286 and a half. 286 and a half shelves for these books. There's 286 full shelves and there's another shelf that's only got 23 on it so that's going to be half full. If we had estimated this, we could estimate this as 13,000 divided by 50. And that would have been about 260, which is close to our quotient, so it's reasonable. But remember, if you get stuck doing this, do a little multiplication on the side to help you figure out if you're too high, too low, what's just right, and then you'll know what to subtract. And remember that What's left over is the numerator, and the divisor is the denominator for our remainder to be written as a fraction. So that's it for lesson 5.1. Our next lesson is 5.2, and it's not split up. It's just a full lesson. And keep in mind that the description of this video is going to have links to 5th grade math chapter 2 long division videos for you to review. There's at least three in there, I think, that are going to be very helpful. And if you're not remembering how to do this from last year, just watch them very quickly, maybe 15 minutes of your time, and you will completely remember everything, and the rest of this chapter will be very easy. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you hit that like button. Bye!